Hello there everybody, I am Tadashimori and in this video here I will show you how to make the origami buster sword. It's the sword used by Cloud in the game Final Fantasy VII and used by Zack and Angeal in Crisis Core. So let's start. First, you're going to fold the paper along the diagonal. Unfold the paper. Now, turn the model over. Fold the paper along the other diagonal. Unfold the paper again. Now you are going to find the middle point of this side of the paper, folding this point up to this point. And you're just going to pinch the middle. Unfold. Now make a fold from this point up to this point. Unfold the paper. Now, passing through the crossing point of these two folds, you're going to make a fold in this direction. So, the fold should look like this. These three lines should be crossing at the same point. Now fold making this line here go up to the middle line. Unfold the paper. And the model will look like this. Now fold the paper in half, in this direction, and you're going to fold, making a valley fold along the middle line. So you have three parallel lines and you're going to fold along the middle one. Now open this flap. Fold making the side of the paper, this side here, go up to this line. Unfold and do the same thing here to this flap. And unfold the paper. Now you're going to open here, making a valley fold along this line. Making a rabbit ear fold. It's the same fold as when you're making the bird base. So the model will look like this. Now make here a mountain fold along this line. Now fold this front flap to this direction, making this point here go up to this point here. Now 
now turn the model over and do the same thing making this point go up to this point here. And try to make these two layers get aligned. Now, unfold the whole model. And the model will look like this. Make here a mountain fold along this line. this. Now, turn the model over and you're going to make a fold here. As you can see, here is the middle line and you're going to fold about this much here, about one third of the distance. And try not to pass the middle line here in this direction. So fold strongly, but only up to this point here. And also do not fold all the way here on the other side. So leave a small gap on this side. And make a fold on the tip like this. So this fold here is just that detail of the sword. Let me show you here on the finished origami. As you can see, the edge of the blade has this detail. And this fold is just to make the sword this effect. Now unfold. And you're going to do the same thing here on the other side. So again, make a mountain fold here. Turn the model over. And fold here. The side of the model. Like this. If you prefer, you can also make a small fold here on the tip. It's not really necessary. But by making this fold, you make the blade more precise. Anyway, in this model here, I didn't make this fold and it looks just fine. So it's up to you if you want to make it or not. Now let's continue. So unfold the model again. And the folds should look like this. Now make here this fold up to the middle line. Unfold, do the same thing to the other side. Now fold both sides at the same time. And the model will look like this. Now make a valley fold along this line here. At this point, the folds on the other side should look like this. Now make a fold making this line here go up to this line here.
Now fold a small part of this front layer downward. Turn the model over. Now on this side here, on the left side, you're going to fold, making this point go up to this point here. Now fold, making the side of the paper Go close to this line, but leaving a small gap here. As you can see, I didn't fold all the way to this line. I'm leaving a small gap. Now fold the top part here up to this line. Now, make a valley fold here. And make a valley fold along this line here. Now the model will look like this. On the other side, fold this point up to this point here. Now you're going to fold this side of the paper like this, leaving a small gap here on the bottom part. and making the top part touch this line here. So this is not a precise fold, but it should look something like this. Now turn the model over and fold this side of the paper up to this line here. So, the model should look like this. Now pull this front layer a little bit. Carefully open this part. And you're going to press this part here. At the same time, you're going to make these mountain folds inside here. Carefully keep making the valley fold along the middle line. Folding along the lines that we already had. Hold the model in this position here. And you're going to spread the layers like this. As you can see, this part here is thicker, so the middle layer should be here to the other side. Now hold this flap like this, and carefully you're going to fold it to this direction, all the way to the end. So let me show you again. You're going to hold 
this layer and just fold to this direction. Now you're going to fold this layer here to this direction inside this pocket here. Now look inside and you're going to place this flap here inside this layer. This will help the model to stay closed. Now, on the other side, you're going to open here a little bit. And fold the tip just a little bit, like this, and make another fold here on the tip. And the model should look like this. Now carefully, you're going to fold here, pulling this side of the flap, like this, narrowing the handle. Now you're going to fold one more time. making this side of the paper go up to this side. And that's it. Now just adjust here a little bit. And the model is done. If you use here a better paper, the details are more visible. But unfortunately, the side is a little bit open. Well, that's it. I hope you liked this video. If you like it, please do not forget to click on the like button and to subscribe to my channel. To support my channel and the origami art, you can also go to patreon.com and become a patron. Thanks a lot for watching this video. See you, bye bye.